Oftentimes, when we press our faces against the stories of the Bible, we long not only to know, but to encounter the divine intervention that so many of its characters experience. We want to know that there is a God in heaven who by the force of his hand can close the mouths of lions for the safety of his servant. We want to believe that there is a creator who can not only surround and protect three teenage boys tossed into a fiery furnace, but can come down and walk with them in it. Sometimes we don't attempt things for God. We don't act boldly for God because we're just not sure that his hand will be there to protect us. Sure, God did that in the Bible, but we are so far removed from those ancient scenes. Would he protect me? Would he protect me in a car driving down the highway? Would he protect me on the streets of a foreign land? Or would he protect me, as in the case of Gladys Allward, hiking through the jungles of China with nearly a hundred begging orphan children surrounded by Japanese soldiers with orders to shoot on sight? I'm glad to say, yes, he can. I'm Ronnie Brown. And this is Forgotten. Gladys Allward wanted to be a missionary all of her life. After being turned down by different missionary services, she took it upon herself to travel to China and set out for missionary work on her own. As she labored for the Lord, she began to accumulate orphans, street wanderers, whom she would take in, care for, and nurture as well as share with them the good news of the gospel of Jesus. Eventually, she adopted nearly a hundred children in the town of Shunxi. In 1940, though, the Japanese invaded China and began a bloody westward slaughter. Gladys was counseled to quickly flee for her life. But she couldn't just leave the children behind to be mowed down and abused. So Gladys attempted the unthinkable. She set out with 94 needy and noisy children, with enemy troops right on her heels, on a dangerous trek across the mountains to the Yellow River into safety beyond the border of Siam. And amazingly, Miraculously, through God's almighty guidance and protection, they were enabled to make it alive. On the twelfth day of Gladys Allward's brave journey to deliver 94 orphans to safety, they arrived at the Yellow River and had no way to cross it. All boat traffic had been stopped and all civilian boats had been seized to keep them out of the hands of the Japanese. The children began to ask, why can't we cross? And Gladys simply said, there are no boats. But the children insisted, God can do anything. Ask Him to get us across. And so there, on the bank of that river, 94 children and one caregiver knelt down and began to pray. As was their custom, after their prayer, they began to sing a hymn. It was then that a Chinese officer on patrol within earshot heard the singing and came to where they were. He heard their story and said, I, I think I can get you a boat. Moments later, he arrived with boat in tow. They crossed, and after a few more difficulties, Gladys Allward delivered her children into competent hands in the country of Siam. This is just one, one in a countless number of other moments where the God of the Scripture proved to be the God of our circumstance. Isaiah 41.10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. This show is written and produced by me, Ronnie Brown, and is brought to you by the kind folks at Much More 520 Radio. For more information about the show, just go to muchmore520radio.com. And as always, thank you.